All right, this uh, video is going to show you how to do an angle resection, three-point angle resection. I think in the Galani Wolf book, it just calls it a uh, three-point resection. So maybe they do a distance one too, but this one, just, just the angles. You have angle X and angle Y. Let's zoom in on this. There's angle X and there's angle Y. And then this included angle, the interior angle, uh, we can calculate that because of the you know ABC we have let's say those are points ABC and that's also angles ABC so come over here point A B and point C angle A and three angle C and then we have angle alpha and angle X and angle Y so this is a four-sided polygon and uh, what we're trying to do is find out what's the a plus c right and that's all you know is this a plus c is equal to a number right so in this case it's uh we have x we have y and we have this this is a four-sided polygon so n minus 2 times 180 gives you 360 so 360 minus in parentheses or you can just go 360 minus x minus y and minus alpha and then what's left is a plus c that's one number that's going to go in there. And then, uh, so this form, these formulas here, you could plug that, that number in, and then you'll get it, the, the formula is pretty easy. But knowing what AC was probably the tricky bit. Let me go over here. Let's say, uh, I'm going to just show you how this gets calculated, or not calculated, but how to try, if you had those two angles, how to do it geometrically. So I'm going to just come up here and get. Uh, Trim these to the here because now these would be equal. I can grab them and then P here. This is level two. Let's go to layer, turn off layer two so we don't know where it is. And then so we don't have that location at that point. But we have, let's do this, CD. Drag those two angles out delete that and then I'm going to just take these and control H paste them onto here all right so now what we're creating is the uh, these will trim out to each other And then V, control K. I'm just going to show this because it's a good way to check to make sure you're drawing it right. They should all three come together in one spot, like perfectly, OK? And this creates a circle. Create a three-point circle that. And you can calculate this circle now because you have the, uh, the distance here. You have this angle, out M A. Well, you have this angle right now because it's half of the ten point eight, right? So there you go. So you can calculate the diagonal. You can calculate this leg. Calculate the difference. Divide that by two, and you get the center of the circle. So we're just going to grab and set it to the center of the circle. And do the same thing over here. So I don't think this is going to come up on, it may come up on an exam. It's an old kind of technique, but, uh, you know, you've got menus to do it on the total station. I think even the digital theodolites have a resection in them, but uh, maybe, I don't know, I, had, I used one once. I don't think I used it either the memory or the, I think the memory is just for remembering angles, right? So you could take it and put it in your, and do the calculations externally. But I think there might be a resection in one of the digital theodolites. I can't remember. Anyway, so you go there. Now we got uh, the second one. Yeah. Then we're going to do the same thing here. Grab, grab it, grab it, uh, drag it to the center. Create those circles. Get rid of it. Well, let's leave this. 
this one. And the, anyway, so the two, yeah, I'm going to delete this. Let's get rid of this. This was. Uh, don't even know why that's there yet. Oh, because I said, yeah, let's delete that. Let's just go V from there to there. Actually, let's do this. V, just to, so we can check and see. It's the intersection of those two circles, right? From this point to that point. And it's perpendicular to this line. V, J, perpendicular to this. Okay, enter. And then, uh, let's see. So this circle would be kind of the one. They should all come together in the same spot, these three. Let's see how we did. And then, uh, it's good that there's no error, right? Well, maybe there is. Or just zoomed in too far. I just zoomed in too far. Let's uh, layer turn P back on, and it should be on the P. That would give it, this is how you calculate the location of P, right? I zoomed in, so uh, pretty far. There's an error because sometimes the circles have a little, uh, yeah, there you go. Circles intersecting will give you, like, I don't know what it is. millionth of a foot or something. Maybe if I drew it, it'd be better than that. But maybe there's something that wasn't exactly right. But anyways, that's how you do it. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll bet you'd get better if you intersected that to this. What the hell? Oh, no, so it's not. It's not perpendicular to that. It's just an intersection of those. Oh, that's because it moved. I should end up coming out right to that center. Maybe better, you know? Going to the center. Yeah, and that's exactly to the center. The intersecting circles, I'm getting a little bit of a, a little bit of an air. Because they, you know, they're not exactly true circles. They, they are, you look, there would be little nodes about every, you know, that, that this circle is divided up into some cer certain number. Uh, but that's how you would get that, right? And then you have the location of P. Well, I hope that doesn't come up on an exam, but if it does, the one thing you got to remember, if you go three point three section, so if you go type in the PDF search on, um, because if you're doing it on the computer, PDF search, resection, three point resection, you just need to know that the a plus C is what you calculate, and then you plug that into the that one number. A plus C is one number uh, that's, that you calculate, and that's these angles here, right? Those two together. And hope that helps you in your career or taking an exam. Uh, you know, it's good to know how to do the geometry, and it would have been better if I could have figured out what the, how they derived the formula. Bugged me a little bit, but. Good luck and thanks for watching.